It's, it's really cool to be able to color something in a way that is really non-traditional in ceramics. I really love throwing on the wheel. Uh, the feel of porcelain in my hands is like kind of that feeling when you uh, just wash your sheets and get into bed. Maybe they're still a little warm. That's just really, <laughs> it's a comfort to me that I, I never want to give up. Grad student Mike Stumbris is an artist, but he also considers himself a scientist and he wants to change people's minds about art by turning their attention to the science behind the beautiful pieces he creates. Using radiation, Mike is able to change the color of pottery in its cold state as opposed to using heat to change it. I found this rock on the beach, a beautiful rock, and I thought, this is something I need to have in a glaze. It's up how um, you know, the color was formed naturally, and I, and I found out that it came from uh, radiation from the Earth's crust. Working with the Nuclear Science Department, Mike was able to find a way to create works of art that also tap into the science found in nature. Every day I walked past the Nuclear Science Building and I thought maybe I should go in there and talk to some of those guys and see if it's possible to maybe uh, make a glaze that's colored with radiation. Working with health physics PhD candidate Charlie Wilson and health physics grad student Amin Hamade, together they came up with a glaze that allows the pottery's color to change in a non-traditional way. It's really lovely to be able to have art that celebrates science and to have science that's informed by, um, you know, aesthetics. <laughs> so now Mike doesn't just get satisfaction working with his hands. Thinking through the science behind his art is also beautiful. For Tiger TV, I'm Gillen Breedy.